Ah, F3 only. Nice, no? Anyway, so the game happened uh, after uh, he went knight d6. Mm -hmm. Knight d3. What do you play? You can't play bishop but d3. It's already lost. It's already lost. Yeah. King f1. Rook c1. Rook c1. Uh, rook, rook. Rook. Can, there's only one move here. Can you find it? Already one chook found. Gukesh is eating uh, rice. Th Sama is training him. <laughs> this is the most weird <laughs> scene that <laughs> exists. They are looking at an Iwanchuk game. <laughs> what are you calculating, Gukesh? Twenty. Looks like what are your other candidate moves? Queen C1 and Bishop C1. Queen C1, Rook C1 and Bishop H3 also. What else are your candidate moves? Think like Ivan Chuk, not like normal moves. Okay, I'm telling you. No, no, give him a hint. Give him, tell him which piece. Should I hint that It's the same piece that you're saying. Is that rook only? Hmm. Rook, uh... F8. Rook F8, yes. Ah, Bishop D3, Bishop G4. Yes. Crazy, huh? <laughs> I mean, like you always think about rooks given. Exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But Rook F8, finding it in the game also, I think the follow-up was, he was very accurate, no? no? It's not very clear that it's winning. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. When I saw Rook F8, I, was, I didn't think that it is like completely winning, but it's like... The entire idea that Bishop D3 and uh, Bishop G4 is just crazy. If I go like... Uh, uh, in G2, that is crazy. Yeah. He went Rook D1, but then Knight B2 and uh, Knight F5, ko he played Bishop F5, E F5. Knight d1, bishop d1, and it was already over. Like after Ruby. that, I mean, Ruby. queen came to c4, king went d1, bishop went to f4. It was over. But what a game, right? Also, I think his last game was <laughs> Nah, his last game was also very interesting. Uh, uh, Samay, are you for, uh, you were also following European Championship? Only one chuk games. Only one chuk? Yeah, yeah. I love He's my favorite player. Really? Yeah, yeah. Why? Why? Uh, because of you saw the great videos on Agad Mathur. Yeah, I mean, and Agad Mathur used to always, he also loves Ivanchuk, so he used to spell essay, like he used to make these players as characters and he used to tell about them. And the entire that heartbreak story of how Ivanchuk never became, like he never got the things that he deserved, but his games were amazing. Like I saw his game against Gary Kasparov in Gary Kasparov's prime, mm -hmm. where he just made carries all pieces come back to the first rank have you seen that game with knights versus game bishop versus right bishops no bishop there one day right right He's making two double pawns on the right and left what a game it reminds me of my game against ukesh today <laughs> 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 but so uh, gukesh can you imagine like what to what extent sama is into chess yeah, yeah. you seem to be upset there yeah, <laughs> yeah. He's go. He's watching uh, Irwanchuk games and he's analyzing <laughs> Rook F8, for BD3, BG4. Yeah. Okay, so have you seen the Queen G7? Ah, the gold coin game, no? Hmm? No, no, that's. Mm, I thought Queen G3. I thought. Who's this? Hmm? Irwanchuk. Maybe now, if you say like this, I won't remember, but I must have seen. Wait, against whom? But. I don't remember the opponent. Queen G7. He sacrifices it's the Moscow. queen. It's a Moscow game. It's basically bishop. Like briefly I'll, I'll say. White's bishop is on e3. White's queen on g4. White's knight on e4. a4. Yeah. Black queen on b5. Uh, rook on h8. Bishop f8. Knight c5. I mean I'm not telling the full position but yeah. here he plays queen g7. Oh. Bg7 is to take knight c5. Yeah. Bishop g7 fg7. Rook moves on knight c5. And but also, he had done with chess, but I'm not crazy, okay? <laughs> <laughs> I can't 
<laughs> there was this one famous game where he takes queen takes just one pawn queen takes e6 i think it was oh, ivan yeah. chuk karyakin if i am not mistaken please. just ek pawn marta hai queen ke liye when i in some online and ivan chuk made a like a completely unexpected move ivan chuk did this <laughs> <laughs> recently i also against jordan he played an amazing move. same move hmm. okay so you okay, okay. <laughs> Do you see his streams? I see the interviews. <laughs> no, but now he's streaming. Okay. Imagine that you and he together are analyzing. <laughs> okay, he's <Samai>. away. <laughs> okay, it is this, but okay. You know, I was seeing some of his uh, videos. There's one video in which he's playing checkers, and he has won the tournament or something. Yeah, yeah. They call him to play. No, sir, no, yeah. What has happened? He runs and he just has no interest. He's just thinking what to play. He gets the medal, quickly comes back and he <laughs> plays his checkers. Can you search the game against uh, Jordan and World Teams? This twenty twenty. Look at him. <laughs> search. What's World this? Teams twenty twenty two. Oh yeah. रिमेम्बर I remember this. Beautiful moves I played. Really. Should I have seen my saga against Amrutha? No, no, it's behind, behind, not now. Ha, yah pe, yah pe. Ha, this one I have seen. This yeah. one I, someone had shown me. Ninety-seven, yeah. amazing. Ninety-seven, bro. What is this move? If Rook takes D seven, like one, two, three, four, five people can take it. But still is losing in every variation, yeah. What if? Okay, if you take with the. Oh, take bishop with the knight. Three v. Bishop takes d six. Then bishop takes d six. Ah, rook c seven is strong actually. Rook c seven, bishop c seven, bishop c seven. Wow, Ivanchuk is a genius. Oh, just putting the.